Hey folks, hello and welcome to another WordPress tutorial by the team here at Divi Engine. My name is Roby and today I'll be showing you how to add a WooCommerce discount automatically at checkout. This can also be used to apply coupons automatically at checkout. So we're gonna show you two different methods, one that relies on a coupon code and another that you'll actually code by hand. We'll include all the snippets to make it super easy for you. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the customization options that you have. So if following along with text is a little bit more your style, definitely check out the blog post that will be linked below in this video. Now, before we get started, let's make sure you've got about 10, 15 minutes available and that you're familiar with all the tools used in this tutorial. You'll be editing the functions.php file in your child theme. So make sure that you know how to do that or check out another tutorial on how you can get that done. Now with that all sorted, let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so getting started here, I'm gonna jump into the back end of my Divi website install here on my local machine. Now you can use Divi if you like, we prefer Divi. The only thing that's really required for this is to have WooCommerce installed and hopefully have a few products in the database. Um, we do have a great tutorial on importing some sample products for your WooCommerce store, which will be linked in the description. Maybe we'll even add a card at the top here in the video. Now for this first step that we're gonna be adding the coupon automatically, we'll be um, offering free shipping. Let's say if our customers spend over $100. We'll step through the code, but we need to do a few things before we can get to adding the code to that functions.php in your uh, child team. First, we need to go to the shipping and set up the free shipping method. So to do that, we're gonna head over to WooCommerce and settings, and then we'll hit that shipping. And now you might have different zones set up here. I've got the United States. Uh, you just need to select the shipping zone that this will apply to. So I'm going to select the United States. And you can see here that I've got my flat rate shipping in here already, but we're gonna wanna add a new shipping method here. So add shipping, and then we'll select free shipping. Just click add shipping again. And there we go. So now we've got this in here, but we need to tell it that it's gonna need to use a coupon for actually, um, enabling the free shipping. We don't want just anybody to get that. So we're gonna click on edit here. And then here it says free shipping requires. We'll add the requirement, a valid free shipping coupon. And then save those changes. And then that should be good. Now the next thing we need to do is head over to our marketing section in WooCommerce. And if you don't see the marketing section, that means you've probably got an outdated version of WooCommerce because usually it used to live here underneath WooCommerce. If you have, um, I'm not sure what version um, it started at, but um, if you're on the latest version, it, you should have this marketing section and then you'll just click on coupons there. Now I don't have any coupons configured now, so I'll go ahead and add one. And then this I'm gonna keep simple. I'm just going to call this coupon free shipping. I'm not going to distribute this coupon or anything like that. I just wanna make sure that it's in here and um, easily recognizable. You can put it in a description if you like. I'm going to skip that for now. We're gonna say that it's a fixed cart discount. Um, we don't need to put an amount because it's just going to discount whatever the shipping would have been. We'll just click the box that says allow free shipping. Now, I don't recommend putting expiration date here because it might trigger some issues um, with the automation section. Um, so this is best handled on a manual basis. But with all this in here, we'll just click the publish button. And boom, okay, so we've got our coupon code created now. So now when we go to coupons here, we can see free shipping on a fixed cart discount. Now let's take a quick look on the front end of the site and, and see how this, this code is being applied or whether it's been applied at all. So if I click over here, I'll just refresh this page to make sure that any changes are reflected. So I'm gonna click on this item, the album. Let's add four to the cart. And view cart. And here we can see the free shipping has not been applied and the only option here is the flat rate shipping at $10. Um, so just shows us and a, a demonstration that of the fact that it's not been added. I'm going to delete these products right now just for the purposes of the um, next step where we're gonna be adding the code to demonstrate that best. So clicking back 
into our backend of the site here. We're going to go over and utilize a built-in feature within most WordPress installs. Now, I say most WordPress installs because sometimes the um, hosting provider or the developer that built the site takes this ability away. But we've got the feature under appearance called Theme Editor. Um, and that'll bring up actually a few of the files within our child theme to be able to edit them and make changes to them. Now, we highly recommend not to touch this if you don't have a child theme installed. It's always advised to have a child theme installed with any Divi website or any WordPress website that you're working. So the changes that you make in there does not affect the core theme. Now, we do have a great tutorial on child themes and adding one for the Divi theme. And we'll link that below in the description. Definitely check that out if you do not run one right now. Now, once we're in here to add that code, we're gonna need to go to the functions.php file because this is where everything lives of extending the functionality within our site in our child theme here. Now, to find the code, we'll link in the description also the blog post, but here you can see the blog post and we'll just scroll down to the first step here, which is adding a coupon code automatically based on minimum spend. We'll just scroll down to the code. Here it is. I'll just copy all of that. And then I'll head back to the back end of my site. So here you want to make sure to put the code just above this closing PHP tag. So I'll just paste that in there. And now we want to look at a few things. It's well commented, so you can kind of figure out what needs to happen here. But here we're saying that as soon as the order total is over $50, that this will trigger a coupon code being added. Now, we're going to make this $100 to make it interesting. And it could be pounds or whatever. It'd be the unit of your store, um, the currency unit. Here, you need to put in that coupon name that we created earlier. Now, we called ours free shipping. There we go, free shipping. You got to make sure that the spelling here is correct. Otherwise, it will not work and your website will crash or the coupon won't be applied. It's just not going to be the best experience. When you're done with that, click Update File. And then it says uh, Edit It Successfully. So let's go back to our shop here. I'll click on the Shop link. And now I'll go back to this item. And let me just add three of them or four of them. That'll make it $60, right? And then I'll go View Cart. Now here we can see that the total is still $60 and that no shipping has been added there. Let's see what happens when we go to checkout. Nothing interesting happening here. It's got the same subtotal. Now let's go back to the cart really quick. And then we're gonna increase the amount of items in our cart to be, let's just make it 10. Keep it easy, update the cart. And now you can see automatically our free shipping coupon has been added. So our customer will not be charged for shipping on this order. That was super simple. And now we can go ahead and take a look at the next method, which is gonna be adding a discount without a coupon code. And we're gonna make it quite interesting with different tiers, but we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so now to add the discounts based on the amount of items in our cart without using a coupon, I'm gonna to have to add another code snippet to the functions.php um, file of our site. Now, something that I did here in the background while I took a quick pause was to quickly remove all that code that was in there earlier. So if we go back to the theme editor here, you'll see when I click on functions.php that all that code's gone now. I also went to marketing and coupons, and just so you see that all the coupons have been removed. Now, the process for getting this working is really simple. You just have to go back to the blog article, scroll down to the bottom where you find this code underneath the adding a discount automatically based on the number of items in the cart. It's a lot of words for a simple thing, but we're gonna go ahead and select, oops, all that code. There we go. Let's get it. And copy it to the clipboard. And then we'll come back here. And now we'll just head over to the appearance theme editor. We'll select the functions.php. And now, and paste it right in there. There we go. 
So now we've got all this code in here, but before we just save it, let me talk a little bit about what this code does. So here, firstly, we wanna make sure um, that we're admin and that we're not doing Ajax. Coming down, and you don't need to concern yourself too much with that. Here is where we're interested here, where we start with if one product is in the cart. Now you can make this any number. Here it's one, here it's two, here it's three. You just wanna make sure that um, you have something that captures every possible option. So if you wanted it to be, you know, up to three items, you'll make that three and you'll make that smaller than equal to three. We're just gonna keep this simple. We're gonna keep it at one, two, three. And then here is where it gets a little tricky. So we have to calculate what the discount is. For the first item, we're gonna make the discount 10%. So the way we get that is the percentage equals 10 divided by 100 multiplied by the original price. That will actually give you the amount that's gonna be subtracted. Now we talk about the new price, we're gonna take the original price and subtract the percentage of our discount. Now you can play with this, you can, as you see here, it's 15% right here. And on the bottom, it's 25% for three items. You can play around with that to have different results, different types of discounts. If you only wanted two of these to work, all you would need to do is to change this one to be larger than equal and delete this piece of code that's right here. Um, but as I said, we'll keep this the way it is. And definitely if you find some other interesting things to do with this, definitely comment below and um, maybe we can add to this actual tutorial. But with all that explained now, let's click on update file. Actually, before that, let's just go to our um, shop again. Let's go and add a few items to the cart. And I just wanna show that it is not adding a discount yet. So we're adding two of the albums. When we click on view cart, we'll see that it's only $30. So let's delete that out again. And then we'll go return to shop. And now what I'll do is update the file and it says edit it successfully. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our album here with that code updated, and then we're gonna add it to the cart and see what happens here. Let's go to the cart, and it's $15 originally. Now you can see it is $13.50, so $1.50 was taken off. So a 10% discount was applied to that item. Now let's see what happens when we go to two items, update the quantity to two, and now we can see what should be $30 is only $25.50. So even more of a discount was taken. We've got that 15% taken off. And then let's go to three and see if we get 25% off. And there you can see, this should be $45, but there was over 1125 discount here. So this is a really easy way to apply some really cool discounts and really cool marketing you can put around it for special promos that you might be running on your WooCommerce site. Now, as we looked at the code a little bit earlier, um, and here it is again, you can modify this code to do various different things and all the basic hooks and the logic is here. So it really is up to you how you wanna employ this. So hopefully this was super helpful to you. Now, if you found this tutorial super helpful, definitely check out our other tutorials on both our YouTube channel, which you can see right here on this video, or check out our blog posts at divyengine.com forward slash resources. There you'll find tons of content related to enhancing your Divi and WooCommerce websites. We even sell a few pretty nice plugins that simplifies your life for making the best sites you can for your customers. Now, with that, I'm gonna bid you adieu. Again, my name is Roby, here with the Divi Engine team. And I hope you found this tutorial on how to add a WooCommerce discount automatically to the checkout process, super helpful. And definitely like and subscribe if you found it useful. Thank you so much for your time and I'll catch you guys in the next video.